Algal blooms in lakes are always unpleasant, but sometimes they're also toxic, causing beach closures and interrupting drinking water supplies. Only certain species of algae produce toxins, but we don't understand what conditions make it likely that toxic species will thrive. I'm Rachel, and I'm part of a team using analysis of stable iron isotopes to study how access to iron might favor the growth of one type of potentially toxic algae, cyanobacteria. Stable isotope values reflect the sources and movement of nutrients through ecosystems. For two summers, I collected iron isotope samples in the algae and water of Lake 227, a small boreal lake that's manipulated by scientists at the IISD Experimental Lakes area to promote the growth of algal blooms. With this data, I'm going to investigate how sources of iron, like streams and lake sediment, change over the season, and if greater iron availability coincides with the growth of cyanobacteria. This research could strengthen the need for managing iron sources in lakes that are affected by toxic algal blooms. Thank you, Ensoic, for supporting this study.